One of the things that I love to do is I love to travel. Travel always gives me a different perspective on things. And perspective is one of those aspects that I think can really help us to think about possibilities a little differently. And when I go flying in those jumbo jets that the airlines cram us into, I love looking out the little porthole of that window and staring out onto the earth from 25 to 35,000 feet. There's just that different perspective that you get being so high above the ground. The earth looks just different. The sky, the clouds, even the way the sunrise and sunset, the colors look different from that angle. I also have been able to travel in small little aircraft, little single engine planes that you might see buzzing around in your neck of the woods. These are cruising at maybe a thousand or fifteen hundred feet above the ground. I learned how to fly back in the late 90s and it's been a joy and love ever since. And the view from that angle above the ground is different than in the jumbo jets. It gives me a perspective that is both familiar as well as different. The earth takes on almost a quilt-like quality with the different colors and the different shapes, things that are recognizable, yet your perspective on them is different. Now, I certainly recognize that not everybody out there loves to fly as much as I do. I know, it's shocking, but not everybody loves to fly in either those small little airplanes or even those airline-driven jumbo jets. Some, it might be by choice, and some, it might be because of circumstances or means that prevent this kind of experience. But isn't that true for so many people? We all have limits on the kinds of possibilities that might appear directly in front of us. But what I think is important to recognize about possibilities is how many exist that remain hidden or unrecognized. The type of possibilities that come so oftentimes simply by changing our perspective, by looking at something differently by listening to someone differently, by listening to ourselves differently. I'm reminded of this poem by Seamus Heaney called Saint Kevin and the Blackbird. Now Saint Kevin is a monk. He lives a monastic life living in a tiny, tiny, tiny little cell, so tiny that he has to stick his arm out the window in order to have a little bit of room. And as he has his hand and his arm out the window, a blackbird lands on it and in his cupped hands builds a nest and lays its eggs. Now here you have Saint Kevin has been transformed no longer so much a human as now a tree, as a home for this blackbird and this new brood of birds about to be. But isn't that the thing about possibilities? Sometimes they may seem so far out of reach, just as much out of reach as imagining yourself as a tree. And it seems like the only thing that one can do then is to try and look at things with a different perspective, to raise your eyes above and look at that sky Look at that expanse of blue and that sun that stretches forever and ever to infinity. Or to feel the wind on your face, imagining the far corners of the world that that wind traveled to get to you and all of the people and beings that that wind touched on its way to you. That's the kind of perspective that I think life just offers us what we feel, what we see, what we hear, what we touch, what we know deep inside. Those are the kinds of perspectives and possibilities that being out in life, being out on these beautiful 60 degree days and out on those days that are shrouded 
in cold and miserable darkness. They all have things to teach us. They all offer us possibilities.